Jody Stapler. 15 years ago, when I held that baby in my arms, I knew I was going to be the perfect mother. I took one look into his brown eyes and those cute little toes, and I decided I'm going to mold him into the perfect human being with a heart of gold, the best education, a light in this dark world. I had scheduled feedings, scheduled nap times, and of course the television was never on while he was awake. What to expect in the first year was my Bible. I gave advice to new moms, moms with toddlers and well, moms with older kids. I knew it all. What a bitch. We decided to have a second one, one for mom, one for dad, the perfect family. We went on weekly outings that were both educational and fun. We had memberships to zoos and museums. I dyed their food to match the holidays, you know, green mac and cheese for St. Patrick's Day, uh, red pancakes for Valentine's Day, and their birthday cakes. I designed and carved those just like the ones you'll see on the Food Network channels. And their birthdays, well, they were themed down to the tiny little cheese bites that look like sailboats. I turned our house into an educational play center. You know, a music center, art center, math, even a tactile water and sand table. We were great. So we had a third one. Okay. Well, when the children outnumber the parents, insanity happens. Those field trips, uh, I couldn't even make it to the grocery store. Memberships to zoos? The zoo was my house. That homemade meal and uh, the carved cakes, well, they became frozen lasagna and pre-made store-bought cakes. That television that was never on, <laughs> it became my best friend and their babysitter. My husband was lucky if he came home and we had been dressed for the day. I wore the same pajamas on a daily basis and the boys, well, they were perfectly content to run around in their diapers. It was throughout this chaos when number four happened. That's right. I said number four. It was either laugh or cry, and it's been both for the last six years.